What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the number one podcast in the world, the podcast that's unpredictable as life itself, unscripted. I'm your host, Chase Tamore. And I'm Gabrielle Moses. And today, we're right back into the mix of things. This week, we have our lovely guest, Sammy, joining us for the podcast today. Hi. Sammy, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from? Yes, I'm born and raised from L.A. Um, I was a gymnast for 13 years. I'm a dancer now, modeling on the side. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's awesome. So here on Unscripted, basically how, you know, we talk about how it comes to be. Um, Gabrielle, my lovely host here, she's notoriously famous for... Um, doing a little bit of dating advice and whatnot on YouTube. That's kind of how I started doing social media, you know, reading some Cosmopolitan magazine and kind of seeing how's the best way to, you know, find your perfect match. And so that's kind of what we're going to be trying to do here today, asking some fun questions and seeing if you might be compatible with a little fun guest of ours. Yeah, and obviously I come from reality dating shows and I'm on TV and so like I was notoriously famous for giving my honest advice on if people are a miss or if they're a match. And so obviously on this show, we are big on giving great dating advice. Um, we try to set you know our friends up on blind dates, for example. So, um, you know, just go right into it. I guess, uh, you know, we gotta ask you, like what does your like dating history kind of like look like? Like what, do you have like a specific type uh, are you like, you know, even looking, do you like men and women, just women, just men? <laughs> um, I just go with the flow. Um, I don't look because I always feel like when I look, it's never the right guy. Yeah. So I'll just let it come to me, you know, um, my dating history. I feel like I didn't really date proper men. They were always boys. Oh, so. is there a difference between boys and men? Oh, yes. yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> The immature ones versus like the guys who exactly like, suck it up and you know, <laughs> pretty great, <laughs> right? Yeah, but at what point do you deem them a boy or a man? When they're not mature, when they treat you like trash. Oh my know. gosh, do you, have, do you date like guys that treat you like trash? Uh, unfortunately, it's gotta... happened. It's happened, but there's been good guys and bad guys. But more recently, it's. Unfortunately, the bad That's why she's here today. She hasn't found the right one quite yet. Well, hold on now. Hold on now. we got to ask her, like, like what? Uh, where do you normally find your, um, I guess, your pool of dating? Like, where does it come from? Where does it come from? Well. Like, do you go to, like, a club and find guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a party? Well, I've met, like, the guys through other people, like, through friends. And then a couple have been through Instagram. And now I'm just, like. I don't believe in the Bumble, Tinder, like, everyone just wants to smash there. Like, <laughs> smash your bad. you're on it. Yeah, so we're not doing that. Like, I'm trying to be locked in, like, in a relationship, you know, so um, I'll just let it come, you know. Would you say that you're a relationship type of girl? I am a relationship type of girl. Okay, what kind of uh, relationships have you had? Like, what does your dating history look like? What's uh, your longest relationship yeah. you've ever been in? My longest relationship, probably a year. How does stuff like that begin and end after a year? Well, it begins with, you know, the honeymoon phase. Um, it's really cute and sweet and you just enjoy it. But at the end, I think I was like, we were super young at that time. So it was, he wanted to be with his friends and I wanted to be with my friends. So it ended up like not working out. But my past relationships that didn't last that long, I ended things with them. And I actually hit them with the, we could be friends, like, oh, it's okay. Man. And they're like, yeah, sure. And then next day, blocked on everything. So, so not. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you're the ghosting type or they're the ghosting type? A couple of them are the ghosting type. I wouldn't say I'm a ghoster. I would just, I give my honest, like, words and I'm like, hey, like, I don't think we can do this anymore. Like kind of over and then they're like okay no. and you can tell the heart is breaking oh no and so you're a heartbreaker is what i'm kind of hearing yes but it's not on purpose it's not on purpose it just it has for the better it's not working out you kind of see where it's going you're like may as well put a stop to it now. exactly do you find yourself uh i guess what's the word like are you normally the one to break up with somebody or do they normally break up with you normally i'm the one to end things but does that even matter? I don't know. But like more recently, it's been like guys hitting me with the, oh, maybe we shouldn't. I'm like, okay, cool. Are you just like, you pour your heart into it? Like you're just like yes. a lover by nature? I'm a, yeah, I'm a lover. I'm a giver. It's like all or nothing. So when they hit me with that, I'm like. 
do you have like a specific type like um i guess like are you like family oriented people like athletes i see you hanging out a lot in the soccer field so <laughs> i love my soccer fam um been there done that but <laughs> I, athletes are not where it's at sorry what do you mean at the most They're loyal players. genuine oh, uh no, they don't they lie oh, they don't heard it oh. passwords locations all of it you get it all you know. <laughs> never yeah point sorry <laughs> who hurt you i need i'm just kidding well if you guys want to know <laughs> let's spill the tea right now instagram at <laughs> <laughs> drop kidding it. right won't blast you like that sorry <laughs> whoa oh. Set his shot. Some, it happened. It is in the past. We're we're moving on, you know. How old are you, by the way? I'm 23. 23. Okay. And do you like to date older or younger guys? Uh, older. Older guys for yeah. sure. Four years older is, I guess, that's where I'm at right now. The men. <laughs> the men. Yeah. Yes, yeah. the men. Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you find like there's a difference between dating between ages? Uh, I do. I feel like the people that are my age, um, they're not that mature. They're just like. They're still kind of, you know, on the silly side. You know, it's cool to be like fun and silly and have a good time. But there also comes to a point where it's like you need to be a grown up. Got to get your shit done, you know. Yeah. So what about personality? What do you look for like personality wise, like introvert, extrovert? I'm cool with whatever, but just you can't be a weirdo and just be like this. It's <laughs> like we got to have so not awkward. Yeah, not awkward. You got to have a conversation like. You know, eye like contact. Said, yeah, eye contact. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, right do now. they not give you good eye contact? You're kind of intimidating to look in the eyes. So I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, just just stare into their soul. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, tell I, me I do get that a lot, though. But that's like boys and girls. But I'm like, I'm it's because you have like such like big bright brown eyes <laughs> it's like you looking into like my soul I'm like hold on like i don't know if i should lie to you or not <laughs> like don't do it <laughs> you're like i find will always find out, out. Find out. <laughs> <laughs> you have like an intuition like you can like know most about somebody just off of like their energy and stuff like that uh, i feel like yeah like the first like couple of times i like hang out with someone or like meet up with someone i can tell like if you're genuine if you're like you know honest i guess i hope yeah. you know oh so so what is like your ideal like first type of um date like do you like you know something active do you like something more chill like what do you like, like to dinner do? and movies i don't know i kind of like everything i'm open to like a lot of things like outdoor indoor stuff so um let's say someone would grab dinner i'd be down with that and maybe like watch a movie go bowling i don't know i literally like love to do everything so and you don't have like a specific type you would say like it's not like hey like i only date you know like brads or i only date you know <laughs> black dudes or i like date you know hispanic or soccer players you don't have like a specific type or um not anymore not anymore <laughs> like, too, but it I used to be listen. like the the blonde boys with blue eyes but those are the heartbreakers so uh, well today we, we got something a little bit much different than that coming for you so <laughs> Uh, you know, we're we're gonna switch it up, and we're gonna we're gonna you know bring somebody here very shortly. But you know, we got a few more questions to get through before we bring in bring in bring him in. He's gonna he's definitely not that. So all right, they're not afraid to speak his mind. That is for sure. Um, would you say that you are like a, a, a animal person? Do you like you know dogs, cats? I love animals. Um, unfortunately, I'm allergic to cats. So most people are. Yeah, I'll I'll literally die. So. But dogs, no, not literally. I was oh. like, I was like a little sick. That's it. But dogs, uh, I have two dogs. I have a Doberman and a Husky. Um, I've always grown up with dogs my whole life. So yeah, and you're you're from LA, yeah. Yeah, born and raised. So what is it like growing up in a city full of like uh, these influencers that are around? Is it hard to date an influencer? Have you dated an influencer? No, I haven't dated an influencer. Like I've tried talking to one, and I'm like really my vibe you know <laughs> you're like, maybe not yeah you're like you do you do you get the ick is that what it was it is the ick yeah. the ick is, he didn't know the ick was a thing i was like how do you not know the ick like I, unfortunately it's a real thing i don't know what's you can just biggest, catch it what's the biggest ick that you can get automatically from a guy and you're like oh never mind I'm not gonna when they like this. act like they're all that i'm like ew leave me alone please <laughs> exit <laughs> they bring up their followers like i got this many followers yeah, i'm verified it. like guess what who asked <laughs> no one cares you know no one cares yeah i appreciate everybody's verified nowadays uh, yeah 
they pay like five dollars a month right exactly yeah. verified march 2023 is crazy That's yeah even on twitter you got uh no I'm you know they took my That's verification sad. badge away on twitter and i was like i was like on this whole like rampage like i'm not paying to tell people who i yeah. am or, you know what i mean and then I saw all these other people randomly having these verified badges and now they're in my verified tab and I'm just like... I think it's cool to not be verified. It's more cool to not be verified. Yeah, so exactly. Because it's like, that why are you with like 110 followers verified? Like, why <laughs> I know, I saw that. I was like, you're I a clown. I don't get it. Like imagine a guy does that just to slide in a girl's DMs like, oh, I'm going to pay for the verified badge. Yeah. yeah. The blue check mark message. doesn't mean shit. Are you like a are you a DM type of girl? I know some girls like uh, they like they'd rather talk on social media than like in person. Are you more like that, or do you like to see them in person? No, first? I'd rather see them in person. Um, I mean, obviously, like if you want to start a conversation and like we've never met up, like yeah, we can talk. But um, I'm more of like the eye contact, like you know, talking. Right. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So are you like a FaceTime girl? Like you love yes, phone I calls? Yes, I FaceTime, FaceTime girl. Yeah. FaceTime. You learn so much from like a yeah. FaceTime call. Like, can you hold a conversation? No, right? she's actually she's actually hilarious. I sent her a snap one time when I was in Spain, and I was like, "Hey, I found." Uh, oh no, it was in Mexico, and the guy gave me oh, like that gosh. bag stuff. Yeah. And he call. She calls me immediately. She goes, "My mom says put that back down because people out there are actually immediate phone oh, calls." Backstory: What happened? Um, so I was in Mexico and it was when I was walking. I think I, you might have got the same snap. But anyways, the guy gives me the bag and in the bag was like full of like just random yeah, like it was a random pills and stuff like know. that. And I was like, hey, look, like I opened this bag and I had like all this stuff inside of it. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should just take all this stuff. As a joke, I wasn't actually going to do it. it like, Within like five seconds of saying this snap, Sammy calls it, you put it back. You're going to get in trouble. They're going to take you off to the cartel. Uh, They're going to cut a toe off. I was like, yeah, oh, I I, you never know. Thank you. I'm a good person. Yeah, I was just helping you out. Oh, exactly. He's like, you know, I wouldn't do that, right? And I was like, I don't know. There's some people that That's just be like, it's Chase. We don't know what he's going to do. You've seen him speak a little reckless. On no. what? It is a kind fair statement. Personality I'm glad you guys care though. If I get taken away by the Mexican cartel, so like, <laughs> I, will find you. <laughs> I, should, I will find you and hurt them all. We we know we know you have him. He's somewhere out there. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna introduce you to our next guest that's gonna come in today. Um, he's gonna do his best to raise you up. He's the exact opposite. He's not an athlete. He does have a big social media following because he doesn't talk about it too much, but you should ask him when he gets in here. He's the first question. Be like, are you verified? And he's going to hit you with the, yeah, I'm verified. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll see how good I his is. It's supposed to be a success. It is supposed to be a success. But, you know, sometimes you got to bring, like, you know, you ever heard the frame? Do you believe in opposites attract? Or no? I do. So this guy. In some way. <laughs> you sound hesitant. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> well, we're going to bring in an interesting character, and yeah, we'll get your honest opinion on him. So, all right, let's do it. This is Daniel Menchi, aka Chalk Tiv. Chalk Tiv, why don't you tell the people who you are? Where you... All right, first, my name is, is Chalk Tiv. I find that you feel me. You know what I'm saying? You can call me Chalk Tiv if you really know me, but you feel me? Like, it's Chalk Tiv. That's what I go by. No okay. cap. Oh, where are you from, Chalk Tiv? What do you do, bro? I'm from Nigeria. You feel me? <laughs> Born and raised, you know what I'm saying? Since I was six. You're from Nigeria? No way. Yeah, I was born there, bro. Oh, you didn't know that? I thought you were from, like, really? from Switzerland or something, bro. <laughs> bro, Switzerland's crazy, but yeah, Nigeria. Okay, Nigeria. Hey. You know that. Yeah. You know that. Right now. Uh-uh. No, so it's cool because uh, Chuck Tiv is one, he's one of my good friends. Uh, when I was coming up as a social media influencer before um, being on reality television and stuff like that, <laughs> Chuck Tiv and I, during the COVID, were, uh, you know, breaking into high school football fields, making content and stuff, coming up. Yeah, we were going crazy. We, we was hustling back in 2020, you know. We, but, <laughs> we had one we hard to our name. Uh, we had the same Chick-fil-A coupon code so we could get free food there. <laughs> we, had a sneak, we, we had to sneak over the stadium. We had to jump like Ryan Uber. We had to jump. Jumping gates and stuff, yeah, you know. Some OD stuff. You had to do what you had to do, though, to get. Yeah, like he was grinding. So. Right. But what I will say about Jack Div, he's a very hard worker. He has like, a, what is your, your social media following now? It's something. I got 7 million TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wow. Yeah, 7 million. You can see that. Are you verified? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, uh, you know, uh, obviously her and I were very much dating experts, as we could say. So okay. uh, what I got to ask you is, like, are you, like, you know, do you date a lot? Are you around? The, are you get around? You know what I mean? What is your dating in history looking like? Shit. 
I don't date, but you feel me? I appreciate though. No way, I, I do date. Like if it's really like something, you feel me? But you appreciate. What do you mean, brother? What does brother? that mean? Appreciate? <laughs> Question mark. What do you mean? Like it's like I don't date easily. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to really like do something for me. You got to really like you know what I'm saying? Show show me that you that. So you're picky. For sure. So when was the last date you were on? Last date I was on. Yeah. He's like last week. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this on morning. Like, like, what kind of date? Just like a pull up. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. like we're on oh, that no, no, a like, date. But pulling up is crazy. What do you mean by pull up? No, like she just pulls up and, and like we just chilling. No, like, like you ain't never chilling when they pull up. What time they pulling up? What time they pull? Yeah, it depends on the time of night. The pull. Night. Why that be night? Oh. It could be for the stream. I was like, I do. I stream on oh, Twitch. Okay. All that. You, feel me? you know that. But wait, but so, minus the streaming, like. Minus the stream. What time they pulling up? She. Whatever I want. They just. <laughs> <laughs> so dinner date? You haven't done that in a while. Dinner date. He's like, what's that? Shit, that's what I did. Dinner date probably like two months ago in Atlanta. Oh. That's not as bad as I thought you were gonna say. I thought you were gonna, gonna, gonna be like two years. years. Yeah, that's what I thought he was gonna say. Hey, where did the dinner date come from? Stop the cows. Hold on. <laughs> we well, want me to boy that I want to some general chow's chicken to the crib at two a.m. is not a dinner date, bro. What you mean? Which I be cooking too, so like. Oh, oh you so up. What's your favorite thing to cook? <laughs> Mac and cheese. Uh, we need by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not, we're not. <laughs> mac and cheese is crazy. I love mac and cheese. Oh, That's why I said it. Oh, for sure. Okay. I like I like steak, salmon, you feel me? You know, oh, gotta get that a real chef. You, know you ever play sports before, Choco? Yeah. What would you play? Track, basketball, football, all that. All the whole night. Yeah. Did you? In high school or middle school? In high school. Oh. He was nice? Oh, both, actually. Hmm? He was nice? You know I'm nice at one of them. Is he nice? <laughs> Yeah, he can tell you. Don't about care. He, he can tell you about the basketball, though. He can tell you about the basketball. You can really tell you about it. I'll tell you that he, he will shoot his shot. We'll just put it there. <laughs> he tries. I brought us back. I remember that one time. <laughs> this, man, this man plays pick up five basketball like it's game seven in the NBA finals. <laughs> Boys got old call sheets, timeouts, and everything. So when they put the cameras out, I got to go up. I got to show up. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a, a couple really quick questions, uh, Joko. What's up? And uh, we're going to see how well you match up with Sammy here quickly. So my first question is, Joko, would you rather stay in or go out? Stay in. Okay. Homebody. 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 Okay. Sure. Um, do you like scary movies or comedy movies? Madison Five, but uh, I'll first pick probably like scary. Some okay. best type shit. Okay. Uh, are you sweet or salty type of food? Salty. Do you like long walks or CrossFit? Explain the CrossFit. <laughs> Working out. Yeah. Mountain hike or beach walk? Shit. Stop the gap. We know you in the mountain. You're trying to get burned <laughs> by that sun. You know, mountain stop. walk though, like I'll I'll be down to try it though. You feel me? Like I'll, I'll be. <laughs> no, okay. I'll be fine. I haven't done that before. I'll do that. Are you a summertime guy or a winter guy? I will shine in the wintertime for real. Okay, that's not. That's not really lucky. Oh. Sunflowers or roses? Shit, roses. Roses. Okay. Athletic clothing or dress clothing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just gonna move on to the next. Dress clothing. No. <laughs> uh, are you a night owl or an early morning person? Early morning. So that's why you were late today. That makes sense. Um, uh, fast food or sit down restaurant? Sit down. Okay. Hot shower or long bath? Hot so, shower. Okay. I was gonna say, if you sit oh, in a bath lounging, we need to have a talk. <laughs> and this is the last question: uh, sour candy or chocolate? Chocolate. Dark chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Send help. <laughs> okay, so do you have a type specifically, Chuck? To I'm everybody type. What do you usually go for? Though? I go for personality. You know what I'm saying? No, boy, don't come out here and cap now. What do you mean? Like, I, they do have to have features. I got to be attracted to my, you know what I'm saying, my lady. Well, okay. You feel me? And how many girls do you talk to at once? Mm. Shit. Honest. Honest opinion, like... I'll talk to, for, to a lot of girls from my business, stuff like that, for like videos and like, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, I got that. Yeah, you do have a lot of videos, a lot of different girls. Yeah, I'll do that. But like, I, I keep it picky, so I'll only like one type shit. One or three. Three at Mac. Okay. And well, how do you explain your type of content to like a, a female? Like, hey, like, I wear Halloween costumes and scream at people. Or, oh, <laughs> not Halloween. No, no, no. They anime costumes, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? They so like Naruto and stuff like that? Oh, you know, anime. Yeah. You know, anime. I don't know. No, that's it. <laughs> no, that's it. That's it. No, no, that's it. Initial D. I don't know what that is. Initial D. Uh, yeah, that's anime. So you can learn though. Oh. 
<laughs> shooting a shot already. But how do you explain the type of content you do to to shouties? Just like myself. You feel me? Like the content is just me being myself and just doing what I got to do. And so like, people fuck with it and feed off the energy. So, so you scare people <laughs> for living? Scare is crazy. Like I Comedy? said, not no Halloween costume. Like this nigga's capping. <laughs> <laughs> Anime costume is like, you know what I'm saying? It's real, real. It got, I've it never got seen your videos, so you have to like explain. Like, should I pull up the, the Target one? How long is your ban from Target, by the way? Oh, yeah, nah. You're Target. Banned. You're banned. Yeah, Target banned me for like a uh, 10, but only one though, only one specific one, you feel me? Because I was in there wilding. I had to promote my shit, you feel me? So when I, when I, when I promote, I really get to like, you know what I'm saying, an OD mode, you feel me? I get to a like crazy OD mode. So I had to run up in there and yell that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, so would you do anything for views? Not anything. Oh, okay. But you got banned from Target, so you would do anything. Well, that's just because they was hating, you feel me? Like, that was because they... <laughs> they were down? Yeah, they were just hating, you feel me? Like, if it was anyone else, you feel me? What were you doing in Target? He got to pull it up or something. You got to just show y'all the situation. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> okay, so here's a good one. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Slide on me, baby, just slide on me. Oh. Baby, go ahead and slide on me. This song's about Sammy, isn't it? How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> How many views did that get? Shit, like a million, million and a half. Absolutely. Enough for Target to see him and send him a cease and desist, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so speechless. That's crazy. So what would you say is your go-to to slide in a girl's DM? Do you slide in DMs even? Or like, yeah. do you just talk to him in person? Mean? Or you write him a song? I, I like... I like the song. It has to be something like you feel me. I have to go through something with the girl. Yes, I have to go through something. So like heartbreak? Is- no, no. Eh, it could be anything. You feel me? Like it can be good experience. Okay. okay. Like, like interest all day. You feel me? So I feel like you have the lips. <laughs> Sir, calm down. Bro, I'm just chilling. Like, like. All right, all right. Continue, continue. Sorry. All right. Oh, shit. My go-to for a DM is like, what's up? You feel me? What's popping? And get the honey emoji. But would you rather DM a girl or just in person try and get her number? Or would you get her Snapchat? Which I like in person better because it's like, you feel me? Okay. It's way I could feel the vibe. So pretend you're meeting Sammy for the first time. How are you going to get her to give you her number? So what's your name? Sammy. I lost my number. Can you let me find it? Can I talk about yours? <laughs> no. <laughs> and that's when I would leave. That was smooth. I like it. I like it. He went to the number. Can I borrow yours? It wasn't bad. I don't lose no, it was good. Yeah. It was like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting, like, I lost my number. Like, okay, where are you going with this? Can I borrow yours? <laughs> if anything, it'll make you chuckle a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. like, I'm smiling. Uh, hey, relax, relax, relax. <laughs> <laughs> like, chill out for a second. So you said you don't go on dates often in person, no. but what type of date would you go on? Like, what's your ideal first date if you're the dating yeah. type? Probably some ramen. You feel me? Oh, ramen. like tatsus or something. Sammy? Definitely not ramen. You like ramen, then? Uh, you want red ramen? I had, no, I had <laughs> red bread ramen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Take out, you know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> out, take out. What's like your ideal restaurant to go to then? I like sushi, so like Kazunori, seaweed. Okay, yeah. okay. It's chill. Do you like sushi? Sushi? Yeah. I just had too much ramen. That's why I'm like, oh, not right. a big that's, fair. Fair. Mm. that's fair. I overdid it during COVID. Would you not like want to go out and do something for fun after dinner or before? Mm. Like something active? Shit. Like go to arcade, you know. Yeah, arcade. Like Dating Dave Busters. Dating Busters five, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I think it's another person to go Dating Busters because it'd be awkward. First day awkward because. Really? Yeah. I got what if you're like really hitting it off? Like, would you just be like, "Fuck it, let's go." Yeah, if it's a vibe, you know what I'm saying? But like, interesting, you know, interesting. That probably that comes up when I'm, when I'm like already doing something like. Like, yeah, yeah. So dinner first, and then you'll hang out with them if it goes well. Mm-hmm. Second date type of thing. I feel that. Chugar, I have a question for you, sir. Mm-hmm. Um, what makes you special? Like, what makes you better than every other Joe Smith? Like, Sammy was on a dating show right now, and she had like one rose to give out. We're on the Bachelor type of them. Why should she pick you? Like, what makes you different than everybody else? It's because first, who got a name? It's Chug Taylor. Who got that? You feel me? Like, that's like, you know, you got to sing my name. You feel me? Are you an artist? Yeah. Singer, songwriter? It's everything. Everything. 
And what do you think about that, Sammy? Uh, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> That's the clip. Uh. <laughs> um, cool. Togo, do you have any bad habits? I would say procrastination. Same. I feel that. Oh, so you guys have something in common. Oh my gosh, yay. Oh, here we go. Now we're cranking. What about bad habits in a relationship, though? Ooh, like, are you a slow texter? Are you a texting even type, or do you just call them? Because I'm dry. Like, you'll get, like, one-word answers out of yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, face, it's FaceTime, bro. Yeah, guys, really? Just, like, yeah, you got to call. Like, and only call me if it's, like, if you are losing a lung. Because, like, <laughs> 90% of the time I'm going to look at it, and it's going to go, I'm just like, dang, why is this person FaceTime? You're right now. You're like, hmm, I wonder what's important. Did I give you FaceTiming privileges? Do you guys believe in FaceTiming privileges? That's a thing. You know, no, face them off. Ri- face them off. Rich shows confidence. I feel like, like, don't it? Yeah. Face them off. Like, do you want to do the text? You can be like, like, what's up? I like Facetime. I like calling. It's like more. Like, ding, like it's like, oh, yeah. What I mean by like Facetime privileges is like, obviously, you could call me if you know me. Yeah. But it's just like, if I just give you my number last night, I don't know if you're gonna Facetime me like the very next day. Like, oh no, that's yeah. like. You haven't got the Facetime privileges yet. Yeah, 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 I don't know, yeah, you know yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> talk for like four, three or four months, and then. Three or four months? Th- oh, oh, are you two? Are you one? Are you I was like one week? I, uh, about three, four months like before a, you start calling month? me. Like a month? Oh, okay, no. fine. Like maybe a I'm a very days. talkative person though. I know, but I don't know. Maybe like you can talk as well. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe if I'm like really vibing with you, then we can face up. Would you rather have love or money? What if you love the money? <laughs> money doesn't buy happiness. It don't. That's right. What was that? You're right. You're right about that. No, you're right money about doesn't that. buy happiness. Passion yeah, over money for sure. You Just saying. I agree with you on that. Okay. So you would rather have love or money? You'd rather have love. have love. Love is free. Easy. You know what I'm saying? But to maintain the love, you need some bread. Not if you find the right girl. <laughs> you don't even... So you what if you don't have money? You're going to be homeless? You're going to be living homeless in the street? Like, what's up? So be broken. You do the freeway. You'd be broken <laughs> happy together. Hey, you could have a pretty cool tent. Put a TV in there. Oh, you're sick dick. Have you ever been in a tent? I've been camping. For how long? Where? Yeah. <laughs> I have questions <laughs> in my parents' backyard. <laughs> <laughs> love is, love is better with freedom, though. With AC. <laughs> no, but love is better with freedom, though, you feel me? Money, money supply that, you feel me? But could you see yourself taking, like, a vacation with a boat and some and some girl you in love with? And... <laughs> yeah, I got to be up to my standards. That's good. Are you? Would you do that? Can you think? Uh, I love vacation. Like I'm always traveling, so that's. What's your dream place? My dream place. What is my dream place? I don't know. I I feel like I've been to my dream place, Croatia. Really, Croatia is really nice. Oh, yeah, okay. I like if I could, like I'd go there again. It's beautiful. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Would you, would you go to Tokyo? I would. I want to go. That's on my bucket list. Uh, oh, see, Tokyo. You go to Tokyo quite often, don't you? Hey, well, but you been to Tokyo before? He's an anime content creator. Of course, he's been there. That's so, fair. Have you gotten the ramen there? Yeah, the ramen. Oh, it's just smack, bro. I heard the food in general is. Just <laughs> it's amazing. just. It, it was just too much, bro. Like the flight was crazy. Yeah, bro. That's How long was the flight? It was like sixteen hours. Okay. Could you do a sixteen-hour flight? Yeah, I mean, I. Yeah, you, you just got London. back, yeah. London, so. What do you like to do on she, vacation? No, 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 no. She could with me. Ooh. If I'm on the flight, <laughs> you get flewed out? Yeah, uh, fly a girl out. Yeah, would you fly a girl out? God, I love You just stuff up her money. But now we're on a, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a. If, they, if, if I'm not dating, if I'm not dating the girls, they're not getting no, but if I'm not dating the girls, it's over. Like, are you saying, like, if you're not official? <laughs> yeah, it's over for that. Like, <laughs> what about you guys? Did you do that? Like, I even if you're not official, like, let's say you've been talking for, like, six months. Yeah, see, if you're talking to someone for that long, yeah. yeah think, okay, I'm expecting the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I think it's I think it's normal if you fly. Because, like, there's certain places where you don't have an option but to fly. Okay, so you're tricking. Huh? Uh-uh, you're tricking. Did you nah. guys hear you're that? You're tricking. There's a, did you tricking. guys hear that? <laughs> there's it's truth places, in it. to him. He's actually right. There's places that you don't have a choice because, like, say you go to, like, obviously, um, like, an island. Like, like Hawaii. Hawaii is, like, a prime example. Or not even Hawaii. That's not it. Like, if you go to, like, the Maldives or Bora Bora, places like this, you're not going to go there and you're going to find a bunch of people. You, exactly. you go there with your significant other and to bond with your significant other because you're in a house in the middle of the water. Like, exactly. that's all you have. <laughs> you have the fish in you, too. So, like, recently, obviously, I don't know if you guys have seen Perfect Match, but in the finale of Perfect Match, 
uh, Georgia and Dom, I didn't think that they were a real couple. I thought they were just pretending for camera. So when they won the show, the reason I voted for them to win the show was because they only won a one-week vacation to the Maldives, just them two. And I thought, what a worse punishment yeah. than to send them in a house in the middle of the ocean <laughs> was just each other because they wanted to pretend that they were in love. We're going to find out if you're in love, you know what I mean? That's crazy. That's, so, that's crazy. So, yes, I do believe you can fly people out just to see if you like them because at the end of the day, uh, here's, a, here's a trick to you. Always fly them out with a friend so you don't get stuck with them the whole time. There's nothing worse than feeling suffocated. But so then that, your that, friend that, would have to be the third yeah, kill. That's, awkward. that's weird. No, that's because most of the time when you travel, like you take a friend too. So if like me and Choco were going somewhere and I wanted to fly out like you or you, mm. I'd be like, hey, do you want to bring a friend? Or hey, do you want to bring a friend? So you would pay for my friend is what you're saying? Yeah, you bring both. Let's go. Let's go. Bank is Let's go. Chase, is you? A bag like that. No, oh, no, without. <laughs> but I just feel like that's a little bit of like trick sip energy, though. You feel me? Like, so do you want to be stuck with them all the time if you don't like them? So you say, like, if you don't know the story, you just go fly her off, rip. You know what I mean? That's so what I'm saying is if you already say the hotel, so most girls sleep, you guys sleep in the same bed, don't you guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So you still are paying for one hotel room. The only difference is you pay for one extra flight. Two flights? Two. <laughs> I feel like a lot of guys that have the same reaction as him. So yeah. I agree. But like, I like, I like where your head is at. Flying, I'm flying the friend out. <laughs> the friend's got to come too. This way, mm. that way, if I don't want to see you for like a couple hours, you have. Something I'll go to see them before they see me. I don't know, flying nothing. Yeah, yeah, I'll go see them. But I, I like, like seeing them. I'm adventurous. Is the best way to like see if a relationship will work out. No, you're right. You're right. Once you take a trip with people, like even like even niggas, like you take a trip with them, you go see like their true colors. Exactly. So you feel me? Like that's really like exactly. But I feel like there's some other really important things in a relationship. Like, would you guys rather have loyalty or honesty? in a relationship honesty honesty yeah because like just like finding out on your own without like you know just the other bullshit it's like oh shit it's like i think a better question is would you rather have love or loyalty because i think loyalty and honesty are the same mm. and i always say i'd rather have loyalty, loyalty than love any day of the week because you could love somebody and still hurt them exactly but if you loyal it don't matter what you do to that person they are always going to be loyal honesty mm. that i agree you don't gotta love me but as long as you're loyal that's all that matters yeah, because I don't know you can be honest, but if you do some if you do some fuck shit, like you out, you feel me? Like yeah, hey, it's this one is, and this done. What's the worst thing you've ever done to a significant other? Shit. Let's see how honest he is, because I, I know I, I know some stuff that Shelton has done. You can't lie to me, sir. What's I'll bring, I'll call about? Kenny right now. <laughs> shit. Who? Who? Oh, 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 you out? Nobody. Nobody is good. You feel me? Oh <laughs> shit! The craziest thing I've done, I have cheated before. You feel me? <gasps> Honestly, we love it. Actually, at least, yeah, at least they're being honest. But mm -hmm. right. and how long ago was this? Let's see how honest. But I'll never do it again, though. You feel me? When was this? It just crashed problems. Uh, when was this? It's actually last August. Dead ass. Oh, a year ago. Last August. How long were you in the relationship with the girl for before <laughs> it happened? Oh, uh, my longest relationship was a year. Well, I mean, how long were you guys together before you cheated? Five months. So were you just like not interested in it? Yeah, I was kind of. Yeah, I wasn't interested in it no more. You feel me? Like if. It's, I, just, I don't know. I'm a man, so like, for me, if you're not supplying what I need, I'm just gonna Are just like. Uh huh. We were talking earlier. Is there a difference between being a man and being a boy, Jogo? There's just signs of maturity. I feel like it's Thank like you. it's signs of maturity. Yeah. It's like I don't know, like learning how to let shit go. You know what I'm saying? Like learning how to be on your p's and q's. Like kind of like you know what I'm saying? Like not being petty. You know what I'm saying? Just taking shit to the chin, like just shit like that. Did you ever find yourself in situations where you're like, dang, I really gotta just take this one on the chin? The power of ignoring shit and just literally just like, you know what I'm saying, letting shit like pass. Like once you ignore shit, like I don't know, like I don't know, trying to gaslight, manipulate people to like get what you want, it's kind of annoying. It's like kind of, he's got his bill, so. Do you ever gaslight? Shit, sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes. Early stages, I'm not gonna do like a lot of toxic shit no more, cause like, I don't know, I think that just, just causes a lot of problems. Yeah. Sammy, you look like a little gaslighter, Sammy. Do you be gaslighting? No, if you just straight up tell him. How Are you a cryer? You look like a cryer. Are you a cryer? That is the worst thing. You gotta know. They gotta, gotta know. What's your zodiac? Oh, oh, he's about the horse. No, no, I don't. Egg. 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 He said no. Give it with the arm. Go. Ask him what her moon is. <laughs> What's your moon? I don't know any of that. What's your moon? Don't you know like the time of year that you were born dictates everything? Yo. Huh? Uh -oh. 
I don't really know about Who taught you that? Who taught you that? About horoscopes? Yeah, like, Shit, kids don't learn that on their own. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't really like nobody, but I'd be girl. seeing it on TikTok on the for you page. It'd be like, oh, it's cool. Oh, so that's your trying, for you thing. Were you really trying to connect? Were you thinking? Nah, that? not. Aquarius. Oh, that's what you is? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I am. Oh, okay, what's your traits? Like, I don't know. What <laughs> 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 He's been doing some googling. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm loyal. Mm-hmm. Yes. Are you loyal? I am loyal. Have you ever cheated? Hell no. What, what, what's your red flag? What's, up, what's, your, yeah. what's my red flag? Um, Having too many guy friends. Mm. That is a red flag. What? That's a major red flag. Hold on, wait. Yo, guy friends. Wait, I'm your friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by guy friends? Like, like I don't really hang out with girls. Oh. I only have like two but girlfriends and the rest are guys. But that's You're a guy's girl. I just don't like the drama. I'm not interested in that. Like, It's like guys, they don't care, you know? More chill. We joke around. The dark humor. Like, <laughs> they get it. Yeah. What's your type? What's my type? Uh, Choke tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, well, I do have a question, though. What's up? <laughs> have you ever gotten, like, have you ever felt, like, insecure, like, when you were with someone? Mm. No. No? Okay. What about you guys? Like, were you ever insecure? Like, I think, in a relationship? I think or overthinking talking. definitely is a part of, like, any relationship, especially as a girl. Because you think of every single scenario in your head, you know? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's, like, insecurity, but, like... Well, I was asking because, like, I have, like, the reason why a lot of the relationships that I've been in, like, ended was because they were insecure mm. about, like, who I was hanging out with and, like, things like that it's like dude if i'm picking you it's because i want you yeah that means like, you haven't been with the right person you yeah hold on if i'm working at taco bell and you're hanging out with you know christian ronaldo like <laughs> i'm your friend <laughs> like <laughs> well, there ain't none of that going well, insecure and protective are different you can yeah, yeah like, i'm not protective, insecure, protective insecure okay. and but, just, but if you're gonna be like oh but you were hanging out with this person and you were doing this and that, like, bro, yes. Like, you have your friends. I'm, like, okay with, like, you having your friends and me having my friends. Like, I'm never going to be, like, I have to be with you 24-7. Like, no. You can go do your own thing. I'll do my own thing. And, like, we can, like, hang out with our friends together. Fuck like, you, sometimes. As long as you're not in no fuck shit. It's, it's like, good. I'm always going to have that mi- that mindset that you're going to be loyal, mm. you know? And I'm going to be loyal. Mm. So it's, like, I'm never going to question, like, where you're at. Like, when are you going to be home? Like, none of that shit, because I'm not 12, you know? It's like, yeah. there's okay, tr- okay. There's also, yeah. like, you know, situations that can occur, too. Like, I, like, they don't call them purposes. They do call them accidents or, like, mistakes yeah. or messed up. But I don't think anybody's perfect. I think... No, no one is perfect. But, like, right, if things right. like that happen, it's, like, the first thing you're going to do is, like, talk to your girl and be like, hey, babe, like, this happened. I was not interested. Like, you know, they just threw themselves at me and it's like okay like let's talk about it you know mm-hmm. but Those that's a really active. good way to look at it though you know like and has that really. mindset mm-hmm. like communication is so important in any relationship like, no, for real because lack of communication can ruin a lot of good shit exactly exactly, yeah. exactly. and i'm all about that communication like let's just talk it out mm-hmm. so and another thing about like relationships and whatnot is knowing a person's love languages so I'm sure you guys know about love languages. Would you rather have physical touch or gift giving? Oh, that's tough. I think those are the top because I did like my test and it was like those were the one of the top like three mm-hmm. that I had like words of affirmation, physical touch, and gift giving. I think touch because I don't know materialistic shit. You can't take that shit with you, fam. That's true. But you can die in someone's hand, you fam. Oh, I don't shit. Oh, 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 that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You writing a new song? I make songs. I make songs in my about head. This today. today. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> but no, for real. I feel like, is it really important to you for the person that you're in a relationship with, like to put forth that effort? Like, what is the effort to you? I don't know. Just like you said, honesty. You know what I'm saying? Being like very, very like optimistic. Being very, very like just having faith and like supporting each other and shit like that. Like just not taking yeah. shit for granted. Like really have gratitude for who you got. I feel that. You know what I'm saying like. Yeah, what about for you, Sammy? Uh, what he said, and also just, you know, like, showing love. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, 
Just showing that you care mm -hmm. it just is enough. How important are flowers to you? I know some girls love them, some girls hate them. I mean, I love flowers, but I'm not going to be like, are you giving me flowers? It's two months. Like, no. Yeah, if you like give... celebrating the little things. Yeah, like and celebrating. I'm a gift giver, but that's just in general, like mm -hmm. to my friends too. Um, but I don't expect anything back because that's just how I am. But if a girl does love flowers, any type, just not lilies because I'm a f like allergic to those. But so uh, yeah, I know. It's the pollen. Um, but yeah, I I would love some flowers. Do you guys ever have a situation in like your past relationships where you feel like your partner did not put enough effort in or you yes. felt like you were meaningless to them? Yes. Well, like I said before, the people that I dated in the past, like I feel like they weren't ready for a relationship. So they didn't know how to like be a boyfriend. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Like, they but what do you mean doesn't know how to be a boyfriend? Like, they just weren't ready. Like, they didn't know like what to do, like how to treat you. Like, I don't know. Like, was this recent? No, this is not recent. Oh, okay. So you're speaking from like a past experience. Yeah, past experience. And how long did that relationship last? Mm, probably like five, six months. So you must have really liked this guy to put yourself through that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, and was he older or younger? No, he was my age, so it didn't work out. And how'd you meet him? Uh, through friends. And how did it end? Were you just like... I was just like, I, I, I can't do this anymore. Was it a hard breakup? No. Because at that point, I was over it. Yeah. At that point, I was over it. Um, mm -hmm. I've also had another experience where, like, someone just put too much effort and just gave me too much which like i appreciate them like doing that but it was so overwhelming i had to end it like i wasn't even with this guy for like three months like we were talking for two months and it was valentine's day and he literally like gifted me a rolex i'm like oh, what I was like, please tell me you wait, kept it <laughs> no as much as i would have wanted to keep it i was like the right thing to do is say no i'm not going to accept this you know because Ooh, like oh. bro Yes, oh, I, God, that's I mean, yeah. That was my face. Didn't you just have a boy get you a Rolex? No. After that, I was like, okay, we'll figure it out. Came to knowing him. Yeah, and he was like, Happy Valentine's Day. I was like, Is he like, what's he really well off or something? Or like, yeah, he like. It must be those soccer players, huh? No. <laughs> yeah. no. This is why they say I, I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had a guy spin the blog like man, like like tripping? What? Like, spin the block. You know what I mean? Like, he, 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 he in the spot. He's mad. He goes. He leaves. He turns around. He comes back. Spin the block. block. Spin the block. You feel spin it back. So yeah, <laughs> that happens. What? They always come back. Oh, oh yeah. She's yeah. confident. She said they always come back. Well, I wasn't saying it in a cocky way. It's just no, like, no, no, no. I'm like, if it's gonna work out, it's gonna work. Yeah, like. No, but like, have you ever had someone like spin the block and like get yeah, mad? Like, some like go crazy? Like, awesome? Like. TV drama shit, like trying to stalk you on that uh, type of shit. Okay. Stalk me? I hope not. Speaking <laughs> of TV drama, that leads me to my next question. Um, Chuck Tiv, if you, you go on a reality TV show, which one would you pick? Does it have to be like dating ones or can it be no? No, it's just a uh, reality TV what show. What was that one? Soldier Boy was on. It was a, it was a minute. Yeah, it was it was marriage boot camp. Marriage boot camp? Well, yeah. okay, well you have to unbind. <laughs> you have to be married for that. Well, <laughs> so you trying to marry Sammy, bro? Nah, nah, it's just like the show was fine. The show was just really fine. Uh, I didn't even ask. Do you have a type, Chogo? Does it matter? Did I ask him? I think you did, but we just we went to a, like a different topic. Is she pretty to you? Do you think she's cute? Yeah, she's fine. Would you date her? I don't think it's a no, but would you put her in a video? Yeah, she can. And what would she, what would she be in the video? Would she be like soccer or twerking? <laughs> Really? I I don't know. Yeah, this is his content. Like, she, if, she, if she can, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? If she can twerk, it's good. Like, I don't know. Like, do you like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> that's what's her. What does little booties matter, right? All of it. You feel me? Like, you I, have a little booty. No, no, no. No, no, no. no I'm, not, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended. You're like, Maybe, let's be honest here. We all know you have a little booty. That's not what right. I'm saying. It's, if it's five, if it moves, you feel me? It's, Does it move? I mean, it's real. You gotta know how to arch the bag. Can you tell me what what ethnicity do you think Sammy is? Um, it's not a trick question either. So it's just you don't gotta. You you just American, right? Don't. I mean, I'm born here. Yeah, but uh, what? It's it's you. Tijuana is crazy. What's that place you go to in Tijuana all the time? There's no way. 
Uh, <laughs> What's it called? No one What's that place in Tijuana you always go to? No, that you go to? No. What's it called? No. That you that you trying to take me? That you trying to take me? That was a century car. Chase trying to get me to go to Hong Kong. Hong Kong and Tijuana is crazy. Best club. What do you know about Hong Kong? He be in there going crazy. Hold on. Sammy, what do you know about our time? Okay, like a bunch of my friends have gone there. I've never been. Oh, uh, hell. But I know of it. Oh, uh, hell. It? I'm oh, then. totally missing out. This is all good. Chuck, can you, you explain it? Yeah, go ahead, Joga. Yeah. I haven't been there before. Wait, what is it? <laughs> lying. lying is crazy. I've been there. you spend money on girls or something? Ding. Why do you always assume that? That's what I said. Chase Ding. in there, though. Chase in there all the time. You talking about <laughs> yes. Chase no, in there. Yes. It's, a, it's yes. a nice little, it's a family, fam, friendly, friendly <laughs> restaurant. If you want. You should Absolutely do. not. <laughs> Absolutely. What do you know about Hong Kong, Sammy? I just said what? it. Do you know what it was? <laughs> Why do you, How do you know? What, 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 is, okay. what is that? Can someone explain for real? Because we have a friend that was trying to get us. I heard about it, but I don't believe it, though. Like, is that really like, cat? I don't believe what the hell be going on over there. I think you're capped right now. You know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> they probably do get nasty over there, not gonna lie. Have you been inside? They probably do get nasty. Been to Tijuana. Oh. We, we got close. Go. We went to the border it's once. Fun? I mean, it's not fun. Oh, yeah, like, it's not like Disneyland, but they got some bombs. Tuscan was fun. Tuscan was fun. It's not like Disneyland. Anyways, going back to the original question, though, is what ethnicity do you think Sammy is? Thank you. I said Italian. Italian. And I said no. Oh, he said no. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're Italian. Italian. You're right. Um, I think she looks Italian. I love Italian food, though. Oh, what's your favorite? Fettuccine? Her? That's not Italian. Okay. <laughs> Alfredo? That's American. Yeah. Alfredo? Yeah. You get a second guess. I try to get, I need three, like lucky three. All right. Uh, you only guessed once. Are you from Switzerland? No. Shit. This no. goes brown skin. <laughs> you got Mexican? Yes. Oh, shit. Yeah. And there's more. Uh oh okay um you got Mexican <laughs> so you got Nigerian in her <laughs> not yet uh, oh yeah <laughs> facts um <laughs> <laughs> um I'm gonna cry now Italian uh, not Italian oh yeah Mexican and what else I don't you gotta just say it I don't know just okay just I'm Mexican Romanian ooh spicy okay do you speak Spanish. I do. Oh, I see. You hear that? You hear the little accent that comes out sometimes when she talks fast? Say, say something. Let me know something. Hola. Hola. <laughs> that, that sounded really white. Como esta? Yeah, uh, mi amiga no me gusto. Mi amiga. Uh, hey, let, me, let me cook. <laughs> let me cook. Correct. Let him cook. <laughs> let me cook. But yeah. So that's tough. That's tough. You, be, you, you was born in Mexico? No. I'm born in America. Born. She said that Los already. Angeles, California. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna lead me into the next question. What is Jacques with? We only got time for a couple more of these cards. Chalk Tip, I'm gonna start with you on this card. Would you like to kiss your partner? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Samantha. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Jake. Would you like to kiss your partner? Negative. <laughs> Did you brush your teeth today? Did I brush my teeth? Yeah. Yes. I have a good question. So you say you like to cook a lot. Uh -huh. Would you rather go out to eat for the rest of your life with your significant other or have to cook for them every single night and never be able to go out to eat? I don't got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Quality time is not as low. I don't got time for that. I'm going to be honest. You know I got time for that, but occasionally. Occasionally? If I eat out, it got to be some healthy shit, though. We finna, like, we finna really, like, meal plan. We go crazy. Okay, and then wh at what point do you decide if, like, this girl is worth investing your quality time into them? I know you say you don't got time to cook, but like, is there a point where you're just like, okay, this girl might be the one, she's pretty, I'm gonna invest some time, effort, and energy in there? It's just like the vibe, like, if the, the vibe is right, you feel me? If she like, you know what I'm saying? If she's consistent with her shit, her energy, she cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep it 100. Keep it 100. That's that's it. Yeah, it's just like, I don't is know. Is there a time frame though? Like, if for me to like really start cool. dating type shit? Um, you mean like make it official? No, not like make it official, but like, is there a time where you usually like decide? I'm gonna I, 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 just, I just go off energy for real. Like, I go off energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I just go off the energy. If the energy right, then okay. it's That's all right. We like energy. We like energy. And do you think that you should live with your partner? And do you, what is your take on living with your significant other? Living, if y'all don't know each other, nah. 
if it's just like off rip, like on some like we date and just sort of living, nah, hell no. Nah. Nah, you know them for a month and then they come and they just live with you for like ever and all. Yeah, that's that's recipe to destruction, bro. Nah, don't I, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't some years them. fly by and all of a sudden you're just like, dang, like yeah, you've been you're staying the night for the last six hundred and ninety five <laughs> days. Yeah, and even like yeah, we gotta have our own room and shit. Like even if we live together, like oh, oh no, you're one of those. Yeah. yeah. Hey, isn't that like their your culture? <laughs> hey, I'm Nigerian too. <laughs> no, no, like I'm not like. I'm being serious. It's a serious question. No, no it's just like I'm I mean, not growing up. There's people that I knew their parents slept in different bedrooms. Really? Like that was a thing. Some of my friends' parents, but it was just because one we. Snore it's just space. You know what I'm saying? Like really? I feel like yeah. just to, for shit to be healthy. Like you know. Yeah, in my house, I feel like I need my own space. Whether that's like yeah, if we share the bedroom, like I need a room in my house that you are just like if I'm I in here. With the sorry, I think that's what the king and the queen do in London. They have like their own like separate rooms. They, they, like, they don't got a, they don't got a queen they anymore. <laughs> No, we can sit together sometime when it's here. Yes, <laughs> yes we do have a queen. I no, she... Sammy, we don't have a queen. <laughs> no, you... Sammy. She died this summer. No, I know, but then Charles is the king and he has oh, Camilla, he has a... so she oh. would be the queen. No, I think she becomes the duchess now. You don't get the queen title. I think it's the king and then the duchess. I or like... Google it now. I think they have a different title. Just some rapid fire questions to wrap this up. Um, Jaktiv, I'm going to ask you some questions, and what's the first thing that comes to your mind to say it out loud, all right? Okay, okay. All right. So. Sammy. Fa. Ramen. <laughs> Smack. <laughs> Girlfriend. Not right now. <laughs> Date. Maybe. Expensive dinner. For the birds. <laughs> Pets. Frog. Is that a frog? No, pet frog. Frog my favorite animal. Daytime. Grinding. Nighttime. Grinding. <laughs> grinding the bag. Okay, okay. Uh, grinding. Okay. So, okay. Light up, up, you feel me? Later. Send me some quick questions Cuddling. for you. Jock Tiv. Nice. Culture. Mexican. Okay, ramen. Nothing. Ooh, Nigerian. Jock Tiv. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, what did you think of Jock Tiv's content? Interesting. Yeah, I don't think that would be on my For You page, but maybe my brother's. <laughs> would you ever be in one of Jock Tiv's videos? If I don't get banned from Target, because I love Target. Oh, well, he does other things on there too. He has like he does uh he has a really good audience with skits. He has a big kid obvi audience, obviously, okay. but he does things um, where he dresses up his female um, collab people in um, anime costumes as well. Yeah. And what do they? What, what specifically do they do? Shit. Sometimes they be twerking, you know, arching the back. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Arch the back. Can, can you um, arch the back? Yeah. For <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, we go see something. I don't think I'll be doing that on your video. No, on the videos is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah. have She'll do something a little bit more wholesome for your videos. Sure. Smile and wave. Exactly. Okay. okay. Well, do you have any more questions for them, Gab? Do you guys think? Is there potential for a second date here? That's the big question. You can be harsh or... The, the first question should be, if we were in the real world and we weren't set up in a podcast, do you guys think you guys could have a conversation outside of here? Like a friendly conversation or like a date? Yeah, just, you just met him, you know what I mean, day of. He comes up and starts chatting. Chew about it. Chew about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, chew about it. Uh, I don't see why not, yeah. Okay, cool. And do you think that if Chaktiv or if Sammy asked you, Chaktiv, to hang out, you guys would go to hang out? Too? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I'm not saying you propose the wedding ring and say, <laughs> you guys are like walking on thin ice right now, walking on glass. Yeah. Okay, and do you think, like, you know, if you got to know each other well enough, you could eventually turn it into, like, a dating scenario? Maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. No. You know, two different pages here. <laughs> um, You're cool, though. No, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's right. I'll take it to the show. But for this next part, so we do this little segment called In the DM where our listeners and followers <laughs> message us some very interesting scenarios. And so we're going to tell you guys about these scenarios and then you guys are going to tell us how would you react to this. But I'll get started on the first one. So there's these two sisters. They are about a year apart from each other. Mm -hmm. And the younger sister tells the older sister, hey, like I've been talking to this guy, but it's not anything serious quite yet. They've only been talking a few weeks, you know, Snapchatting, getting ice cream, nothing too crazy. Mm -hmm. And then a few weeks later, the younger sister finds that the older sister was trying to talk to the same guy. 
Mm. How would you handle this situation? Because these are real situations. Mm. That's tough because that's your sister. Exactly. First of all, why would you do that? Hold on, run back that last part again. Pardon. The older sister ended up trying to just like talk to the guy that the younger sister was talking to. That's shady. That's some snake shit. Yeah, but she's family. <laughs> exactly. Why would you do? So that? how would you deal with it? Like, what if she was just saying, "Oh, we're just friends." I think that would be weird. I, I wouldn't know how to handle that, low key. I would probably just like say none of us talk to him. You know, because at the end of the day, we're blood. Like, mm. Mm -hmm. we can't fight like that. Yeah, blood's thick in the water. And exactly. The so it's like. You can find another person. Exactly. Okay, I have a scenario right here. So this woman says that she was in a committed relationship with her ex for six years. They've taken many vacations. They have three kids together. And they've been happily married. Recently, she found out at the beginning of the relationship, he was unfaithful to her. Mm. about a year and a half in but he's been clean ever since mm -hmm. she was very upset by the news decided to break up with him and went and slept with somebody else before realizing that her heart belongs to him after going back she doesn't know whether or not she should be honest with him about it because he's always said if you hook up with somebody else i will be gone but he was honest with her and didn't have to be what do you think she should do i think she has to be honest yeah, she gotta be honest for the nigga one. find out because yeah. mm, you gotta take that one up the shit <laughs> and they gonna start tripping yeah. <laughs> he if that was you what would you do well first of all i wouldn't do that but if yeah, that was okay be loyal we love it you sure about that yes positive thousand percent we love a loyal girl mm -hmm. thank you thank you thousand percent. um if i was in her shoes i would definitely tell um my partner because i messed up you know and if he's gone he's gone i shouldn't have done that in the first was place he, no was he really though Yes, I would. Would you be upset <laughs> about the fact you've had, like, you know, a happy marriage for the last, like, five yes, years? Yes, I would be upset. And, you know, and five years. And, and I probably, and I would probably be like, look, sleep on the couch. I'm sleeping on the bed. You cheated on me five years we're ago? We're going to get therapy, and we're going to figure this out. How, how, how would you present it? Like, how, how would you get me? <laughs> With <laughs> slides. <laughs> I'd have slides. I don't know. Like, how would you, you, how would you, tell, you tell a man you cheated? How would you tell a man, like, you you Like, you pretend you're about to tell him you cheated. Go. I cheated. <laughs> No, I would just be like, hey, like, can we talk? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was telling you something super serious. Um, I was really upset, and I cheated on you. Mm -hmm. It was a huge mistake, mm -hmm. but I was just, I wanted to, you know. That's okay. good. Yeah. That's straight to the point. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not about, like, going around the circle and it's like you just do it Let's get straight to it you know okay yeah but i don't know how you can hold somebody accountable for a mistake they've made years ago i guess she could be mad because yeah. you should have told me about it when it happened you were unfaithful you did cheat on me but you know you clearly he's learned from it clearly he he developed a lot of like you know i'm a guy's guy he, he learned from his mistake he realized he loves this girl he wants to spend they have three kids together they're happily married it's been years, and I want to be honest with you because I want to, you know, no lies in between us. So I'm Continue telling you. this Yeah. And now you were so upset by it that you went and you commit, you cheated on me six years into this relationship, despite the kids, despite the marriage, despite the vacations, the holidays, all that stuff we've taken. Yeah. We have dogs and all that. So it's like, who's more in the wrong at that point? It would definitely be her, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Don't cancel me. But, um, I mean, he told you, like you said. If yeah, but I don't think two wrongs make a right either, too. So it's like, it's easy to say, well, she's in the wrong because it was longer. But at the same time, it's not like she knew that he did that. You know what I mean? She was faithful the entire time. He cheated a year and a half into it. So it's like, you know. But then I you could get say it. like she did it out of spite, though, you know? Yeah, but, but he did like it out of just be, on some yeah. dumb stuff. That's so it's true. like, what's worse? But I know? feel like even if you're angry, like, that's just dirty, you know? Like, I don't know. I think that's just because I wouldn't do that. But, I mean, I'm not picking sides and I'm not, like, blaming who's, like, you know? But, um, I don't know. I feel like because it was, like, more recent and it was because she was angry. It's like, there's no need to do that. Like, if you're angry, like, talk about it. You know, there's mm -hmm. therapy. You have three kids, that's the thing that that yeah. blows my mind. You know that you have three kids, you know? Why would you do that? That's just gonna make your marriage like 
fall apart mm-hmm. at that point. And then you got to worry about your kids and what you got to do after that. You know, and honestly, social media is not helping it either. You know what I'm saying like, exactly. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, like like cheating is very, very getting very normalized. You know what I'm saying? That shit really that's scary. scary. That's really yeah. scary for our normalized cheating is crazy. Right, heart, <laughs> wrong generation. That's what's going on, bro. Right, heart, <laughs> wrong generation. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have another really good scenario for you guys. So this girl wrote to me saying that she has a boyfriend. They've been together for a year, but he has a really close girlfriend. Mm -hmm. But she's also friends with this said girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And he swears up and down, nothing's happened. She also sees them hanging out together and like they all hang out together. It's not weird. Nothing's weird about it. But her best friends are telling her like, you need to stop it. Mm -hmm. What would you do if you're in the same scenario where your significant other had like a best friend that was the opposite gender? Wait, hold on. <laughs> I don't know what she, Yeah, that was a lot of words. Okay. Hey, hey, summarize so that. Summarize. Now. Summarize. Hey, hey, a girl wrote to me saying that she has a boyfriend, but she, he has a good, like, girl best friend. Mm. And her mm. best friends, like, the girl's best friends that's dating the guys, like, you need to make sure he cuts her off. Like, mm. would you choose that's to cut it off? Mm. Or would the, you the just, guy has a girl best friend. Yeah. Yeah. And she and the said, best friends are telling her. She like, said, oh, "You gotta cut it off." That's super yeah. toxic. Oh, her friends are saying they don't yeah. want to be Yeah, friends. I think they're just trying to get in her head, honestly. Oh, bro, I'm CEO of this. I think that mm. like late girlfriends, like I feel like guy, you can have a lot of friends that are girls, but I think if you're the girl, your friends do not. See, they never root for the guy. It's always. Mm-hmm. The girl and that is why I have guy friends. Exactly. <laughs> the girls always root against the guy. Like if it was you two dating and then we were both the girls, I'd be like, he ain't shit. Like mm. he's nothing. You need to bounce from him. And he's got lady friends. Realistically, he's probably had that same friend for like yeah. ever and always. Yeah, exactly. You know I wouldn't be tripping about it, honestly. But they're gonna be in your head all the time. Like, and how not you start to overthink. No, and that's that's overthink. You, you yeah. can never, you can never go to your friends with problems you have in your relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, been saying there's that. no way you can you have to stop it with her you don't go to someone else whatever you have no like, that you cannot yeah. fix that well, with them well, well, if you go to them they all they, they just go be against them so it's like yeah. you just go be off so what do you do with your best friends then shit if i had girl best friends and she was tripping yeah um, and it's not even you that's tripping it's the best friend it's the best friend that's Wait, the best friend was tripping about the girlfriend mm-hmm. the best friend oh. oh and then she gotta get she gotta get left because yeah. not i yeah. say she gotta get left yeah. it's kind of like friend for the guy that means she was just glazing. That means yeah. she she was trying yeah. she was trying to do jealous. Something. Yeah. Let me, yeah. That means she was trying to do. Something. Yeah. yeah. That means she was trying. To... <laughs> so this is crazy. All right. Well. Well. Anyways, guys. So that's all the time, unfortunately, that we have today on today's episode of Unscripted, the number one podcast in the world. The podcast is unpredictable as life itself. Unscripted, you feel me? Sure. Everyone tap in. You know what I'm saying? Tap yes. into my boy tap Chase. In. Be sure to follow. Unscripted, you feel me? Chalk Tiff, can you tell everybody where they can find you all of across your social media platforms and what you got going on for you? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on every social media platform, TikTok, Twitch, all that, Spotify, you know what I'm saying? Stream the music. It's Chalk Tiff, you feel me? Chalk Tiff, C-H-O-C-T-I-V, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can play all some if y'all want, but it's cool. You want to sing? No, okay. We don't have time for that. It's good. It's good. <laughs> he said. What about you, Sammy? Where can we? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Snapchat, all of the above. Um, at Sammy Matara, S A M M Y M A T A R A. Uh, thank you guys for so tuning in for another episode of Unscripted. We will guys see you guys in the next one. Chase out. Peace. Blah.